One of the main points of emergency medicine is to provide care to patients when they aren't expecting to be ill or injured. You have to have a lot of resources available to you at all times to accommodate anything that may come through the door. We have a great base of emergency physicians, hospital-based physicians and consultants who are readily available to us here to uh, stabilize and treat any emergency that comes through the door. We're here in this community to make sure that our community is served with the best possible care. And we want our community to feel that they can be comfortable coming to this hospital and confident in the care that we bring them every single day. It doesn't matter if we are a small rural hospital or it doesn't matter if we are a level two trauma center. What matters is the high quality care processes you put into place. That's what really matters when it comes to taking care of emergency patients. It all boils down to how can we better serve the people that that we live in the community with. Uh, and so that, that I think, is what sets us apart. Me and my wife are both in the military. Uh, so like uh, time that spent outside of work is very few and far between. After debating for a while, we figured, you know, let's go camping. We went on about three hikes before we finally got to our last destination, which was um, DeSoto Falls. She lost her footing, the water got the best of her and she slid down. Me and another young firefighter, we were there, uh, first on scene in the parking lot. We had very limited information on where she was at and uh, the terrain features of where she was at. So we started hiking into the most popular area of the falls, um, trying to gather information from bystanders, asking if they saw, heard, or anything. Uh, it took a while to actually get to where she was at. Um, a lot of the area, it wasn't, it wasn't accessible, so I had to actually go to the very bottom and climb up the waterfall to get to her. She was laying down in the water, so I started treating her head injury and uh, got a handsaw to another firefighter, the young man that came with me, and he started uh, clearing a path through the trees. And we were there for probably 15 or 20 or so minutes uh, before the rest of the incoming med, uh, medical units, you know, made it to there. They carried her out uh, on the backboard, carried her out on the trail, about a mile, uh, loaded her up in, a, in an ambulance, and then drove her down uh, to where we had our LZ set up, which was about two miles down the road, and then off she went. It was a, it was a lot for me, honestly. So uh, I'm, I'm glad that the first responders, first responders were there to uh, you know, take over and actually do the job, and they did an amazing job. She um, had multiple injuries, including uh, scalp lacerations that we had to stabilize prior to uh, getting a head CT. Once we got the head CT, we realized she had a big blood clot on her head that we had her take her emergently to the OR and evacuate. She had three levels of spinal fractures and we had to stabilize those with some rods and screws and uh, to make her um, more stable so she could actually walk around and work with therapy. And over the following week, she, uh, we were able to control the pressures on her head and um, get her more mobile to work with therapy and get her to Shepherd ultimately. Well, in the setting of trauma, I think time is of the essence. One thing we know is that for patients who have traumatic injuries, the importance of evaluating them and stabilizing them quickly is important. And I think one of the great things about Northeast Georgia is we have a very large very busy, very qualified trauma center to care for any emergency that comes through the door. Gainesville Emergency Department is one of the busiest emergency departments in the state of Georgia. We are in the top five. You do not typically see uh, a healthcare system having almost 200,000 visits a year within their healthcare system. So we do serve a huge population of our community. When I first started, we were transferring a lot of trauma patients out to Grady or to other areas. And sometimes those areas, didn't, those hospitals didn't have uh, capacity. So we would have really, really sick patients here, and we didn't have the specialty resources and the systems in place to provide the best trauma care for those patients. So instead of transferring them every time, this organization made it an investment to become a trauma center. What that really means um, is that we can care for the sickest of, of patients. The most severely injured patients can come to us and know that they can get care not only in the emergency department where you know everything kind of gets started, but um, by a very special specialized team of surgeons and different specialty surgeons, orthopedics, neurosurgery. We work with all of the emergency departments within our system. Um, we have the four emergency departments and we primarily work with the Gainesville and the Brasselton locations. We have all the same providers at the same campuses and it's a very seamless process to get those patients from one campus to another. There's a lot of collaboration. In fact, our providers, they go to all the 
um, other EDs. Everything always just goes back to their community and serving and trying to provide the best care for that community. Because we don't know what's going to come in the door. It's an emergency department. Our staff are easily able to stabilize and prepare for transport. I think it's important to recognize that we are making investments to improve the patient experience at all four of our sites. Uh, you can see that here physically at Gainesville, just with the cranes that are building what will be a state-of-the-art emergency department in just a couple of years. We spent a lot of time making sure that that our people, which is so important to us, are going to be able to work in a place that can deliver state-of-the-art, top-notch emergency medicine care. Replaying it through my mind, I felt like everyone was extra calm and cool and collective. The biggest thing is she got here in a reasonable time that we could stabilize her and take her to the OR um, and, and to treat her. The bleeding that was present on her brain um, is, is not um, common uh, that we can always treat these and people make such a significant recovery like she has. I mean, she's, she's doing great for her injuries and much quicker than we normally see in this situation too. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, hey, nice to meet you. Good. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. It's an honor to have you guys come back and talk to us. You know, it just, it kind of revives our spirits and we're like, yes, this is why I'm a nurse. This is why I love yeah. what I do. So anyway, I'm so excited for you. Jess was my physical therapist and I would walk with her. And when I read in the memory book that um, Brandon made me and I um, read the memories that she um, wrote, it just made me feel so good because I remember the feeling of the love that I felt from her. Every now and then when she has her, what we call bad days, um, she starts to get a little sad. She reads here and uh, you know, it helps out her a lot. It's going to be a long journey and that's, and that's okay, you know, but just be strong along the way. I know I'm going to make it and that makes me happy. Everyone came together and, and functioned very, very efficiently and, and everything, everything worked really well. The, the teamwork here is what saved her life. Having the EMS team to get her here in a, pretty hard situation to extricate her from that uh, that environment and to get her here. Um, the whole team approach is what saved her life ultimately. I think that I am most proud of our nursing and physician relationships here. We have come together as a team to create better processes, better procedures, and overall better quality. Because of our partnership, we trust each other, we're there for each other. In the end, our patients and our community are much better off because of those relationships. We never stop, we're never satisfied by being good. We always want to be great. We do have a passion for excellence and that's, that's visible with every member of our staff. Uh, we know even when we think that we've provided and know we've provided excellent trauma care, we look back and say, what could we do even better next time for the next patient? And so I think what really makes us unique is that our people are so engaged and always wanting to improve. The best way I can describe what it's like to be a trauma center is that uh, on a patient's, injured patient's absolute worst day imaginable, we've done the preparation and built the infrastructure and have the systems in place so that we can really be at our best. Even on a bad day when something that you didn't expect to happen happens, you know that you have a team you know, ready and, and willing and able to take care of you at Northeast Georgia Medical Center. Well, my, well, my mother-in-law told me that you're gonna have your good days and your bad days, you know? Try to be positive even though, though it's hard because being in a hospital too, I mean, it is hard. And when you're thinking negative, you know, just be positive. We got a lot to be happy about.